Hello everyone, welcome back to the 500 MCQ series of Drug Inspector exam. So in today's video, we'll be discussing the question number from 61 to 65. So without any further delay, let's move on to the first question of the day. The first question is, which of the following drugs are preferred for musculoskeletal pain? A choice, NSAIDs. B choice, opioid analgesics. C choice, neuropathic analgesics. D choice, opioid antagonist. E choice, all of the above. Okay. So the question was that which of the following drug is preferred for the musculoskeletal pain. Now you know that the drugs which are given to reduce the pain are called as analgesics, right? Analgesics are those drugs which are given to decrease the pain, reduce the pain. Now, analgesics can be divided into mainly into two categories. One is the peripherally acting analgesics. Peripherally acting analgesics. Then definitely what will be the second one? Yes, it is centrally acting analgesics. So like this, there are two types of analgesics. One is centrally acting. The other one is peripherally acting. Now, the drugs which uh, or the analgesics which acts peripherally, the main examples are the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs are the peripherally acting analgesics. Whereas, uh, the centrally acting analgesics can be further divided into two categories. One is the opioid analgesics. Opioid analgesics, you know that morphine kind of drug or morphine-like analgesics. Now, the narcotic analgesics or the opioid analgesics is a centrally acting analgesics. Similarly, the, uh, the drugs which are uh, given to reduce the neuropathic pain called as the nerve analgesics, they are also centrally acting. So, opioid analgesics and nerve analgesics are the centrally acting uh, analgesics. Nerve analgesics include the GABA drugs like GABA pentine, GABA pentine or amitriptyline, nortriptyline. They are uh, drugs which are uh, given to reduce the neuropathic pain. Okay. Whereas opioid analgesics, the morphine kind of drugs. Now, NSAID is the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, which are the peripherally acting uh, analgesics. They are mainly given to reduce the musculoskeletal pain. They can reduce the musculoskeletal pain so for reducing the musculoskeletal pain nsids are generally preferred you don't want an opioid or narcotic analgesics like morphine so more whereas so op opioid or the morphine kind of analgesics are required in the case of uh, cancer pain severe pains like cancer pain visceral pain organ related pains okay so in that case you need a strong analgesics like uh, morphine that is for cancer pain and visceral pain you need morphine like analgesics which is the opioid analgesics okay and nerve analgesics mainly they are given for as i already told neuropathic pain nerve related pain neuropathic pain the drug of choice will be gaba related drugs okay so the question was uh, which of the following drugs are preferred for musculoskeletal pain the answer is non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. The answer is choice A. Okay. Whereas opioid and uh, neuropathic analgesics are the centrally acting analgesic. Opioid antagonists, they are basically given to uh, as an, um, given in the treatment of opioid poison. So opioid drugs goes and binds to the opioid receptors. So whenever morphine kind of poisoning of course you need to give the antidotes for that and that is opioid antagonist the example is class classical example is naloxone naloxone is an opioid antagonist which is the drug of choice for opioid poisoning okay so here the correct answer is a choice nsads now let's move on to the second question of the day which of the following regimen is used in the treatment of hodgkin lymphoma a choice heart regimen B choice, ABVD regimen, C choice, CHOP regimen, D choice, RNTCP, and E choice, all of the above. So the first thing, Hodgkin lymphoma is a kind of lymphoma, 
okay which uh, the uh, lymphoma you know it uh, the cancer which is affecting the lymphocytes are called as uh, lymphoma and one kind of lymphoma is called as hodgkin lymphoma so earlier uh, in the treatment for the treatment of hodgkin lymphoma the regimen which was used was mopp regimen mopp what is m m stands for mechlorethamine M stands for mechlorethamine. O stands for Oncovin. Oncovin is the brand name of which anti-cancer drug? Yes, it is Vincristin. Okay, O stands for Vincristin. P stands for Pretnicelone. And the second P stands for Procarbacin. So this was the regimen which is which was used for treating uh, Hodgkin lymphoma uh, earlier. Okay, this regimen was uh, earlier used. Currently, currently preferred regimen for Hodgkin lympho lymphoma is ABVD regimen. ABVD regimen where A stands for adriamycin, adriamycin, adriamycin is the brand name of doxorubicin, B stands for the antibiotic bleomycin, anti-cancer antibiotic bleomycin, V stands for vinblastin, and D stands for decarbacin. So the current regimen used in the treatment of Hodgkin lymphoma is ABVD regimen. ABVD regimen. A adriamycin, B bleomycin, V vinblastin, and D decarbacin. Okay, so coming back to your question, which of the following regimen is used in the treatment of Hodgkin lymphoma? The correct answer would be definitely B choice ABVD regimen. That is B choice. Okay. Whereas uh, the uh, CHOP regimen, CHOP regimen, this is the uh, treatment for this regimen is, is the treatment for non Hodgkin lymphoma. It is used for the treatment of non Hodgkin lymphoma. Okay. Where C stands for cyclophosphamide. Cyclophosphamide. H stands for hydroxy donorubicin. Hydroxy donorubicin. Hydroxy donorubicin is the other name of doxorubicin. Hydroxy donorubicin is also called as doxorubicin. O stands for, yes, oncovin, that is vincristin. Oncovin is the brand name of Vincristin and P stands for retinicelone. So CHOP regimen is the treatment regimen which is preferred for non-Hodgkin lymphoma. Okay, whereas ABVD regimen is the treat current treatment for Hodgkin lymphoma. Okay, now heart regimen, this is uh, coming in the treatment of HIV. HIV treatment and this is a kind of uh, guidelines and uh, heart regimen is the uh, called as highly active antiretroviral therapy. Okay, mainly in the treatment of HIV, the treatment uh, guideline is called as heart regimen and RNTCP is basically the guidelines for the treatment of tuberculosis program. Revised National Tuberculosis Control Program, which is the treatment for uh, guidelines for the tuberculosis. Okay, so here the correct answer is B choice ABVD regimen. Okay, now let's move to move on to the third question of the day. Which of the following is a Lewis acid? A choice aluminium chloride, B choice ammonia, C choice boron trifluoride, D choice both A and B, and E choice both A and C. So the first thing you need to remember, Lewis, what is Lewis acid? So Lewis acid is nothing but electron acceptor, right? Lewis acids are a species 
which can accept the electrons. Electron acceptors are called as Lewis acid. What about Lewis base? Lewis base are basically electron donors. So this is a fundamental difference between Lewis acid and Lewis base. So aluminum chloride, the very common examples, the boron halides like boron trifluoride, these are the very common examples for Lewis acid. Aluminum chloride and the boron halides like boron trifluoride are the common examples for Lewis acid. Whereas ammonia, NH3, amine compounds, amine compounds, alkyl amines like RNH2, pyridines, nitrogen containing heterocyclic ring like pyridine, they are exam the common examples for Lewis base. So Lewis base are electron donors and ammonia, amine, pyridine, you know that lone pair of electrons are there. So they can donate the electron. So aluminum chloride, uh, aluminum chloride, boron trifluorates are examples for Lewis acid. Ammonia, primer, amine compounds, pyridine, they are examples for Lewis base. Whereas water, H2O, it can behave both as Lewis acid as well as Lewis based. Based on the context, it can accept the electron as well as it can donate the electron. So water can behave both as Lewis acid as well as Lewis base. Okay. Now coming back to our question. Here uh, the question was which of the following is a Lewis acid. So as I told aluminum chloride is a Lewis acid. Boron trifluoride is also a Lewis acid. Where ammonia is a Lewis base. So the correct answer for this question will be both A and C. That is choice E. Okay, now let's move on to the fourth question of the day. The question is, which of the following antiviral drug, which of the following antiviral drug is not a purine derivative? Not a purine derivative. Okay, A choice, acyclovir, B choice, abacavir, C choice, didenosin, D choice, sidofovir, E choice, vidarabin. Okay. So, the first thing you need to know, in the case of antiviral drugs, based on the chemistry, we can classify it like purine derivatives, purine derivatives, also the pyrimidine derivatives. So, purine derivatives, you need to, you can remember all the cyclovir drugs, the drugs which end with the, the name cyclovir, all the cyclovir drugs are basically uh, purine derivatives. For example, acyclovir. Acyclovir is a purine derivative. Valcyclovir, the name ends with cyclovir. Valcyclovir. Jan cyclovir. Pen cyclovir. Fam cyclovir. That means all cyclovir, they are basically purine derivatives apart from uh, cyclovir drugs you can remember the this mnemonic dave d a v they are also purine derivatives d stands for didenosin didenosin is a purine derivative a stands for abacavir abacavir contain purine ring v stands for vidarabin vidarabin also has a purine ring actually so, cyclovir drugs and uh, DAV, D -A -V, you can remember it's a purine derivative. Whereas coming to pyrimidine derivatives, the examples inclu include the first anti-HIV anti drug, Zidovudine. Zidovudine. The first anti-HIV drug, Stavudine. Lamivudine. Then you can remember Etoxuridine. Trifluoridine, Cidofovir, and Zalcitabide. So these drugs are pyrimidine derivatives. Zidovudine, Stavudine, Lamivudine. You can remember ITC, Idoxuridine, Trifluoridine, and Cidofovir. And the last example, Zalcitabide. These are examples for 
pyrimidine derivatives now coming back to our question which of the following is not a purine derivative acyclovir acyclovir was a purine derivative abacavir was a purine derivative didenosine was a purine derivative vidarabin was a purine derivative so the not a purine derivative the answer would be definitely sidofovir the answer is d choice coming back to our uh, next question what is the ph of a solution containing hydrogen ion concentration of 10 raised to minus 3 molar okay so it's a simple question so you know that ph of a solution can be represented by this equation minus logarithm of h plus ion concentration hydrogen ion concentration negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration is called as ph now here the question is they have given the hydrogen ion concentration what is the hydrogen ion concentration they have given the hydrogen ion concentration what they have given here is 10 raised to minus 3 molar okay so we can substitute into this equation minus logarithm of 10 raised to minus 3 now you know that log 10 raised to minus 3 is minus 3 correct log 10 raised to minus 10 raised to uh, any power of the logarithm of 10 raised to any power will be that particular number so here uh, log 10 raised to minus 3 so answer will be minus 3 and already there is one minus here so minus minus 3 so the answer will be plus 3 correct so the ph of the solution containing hydrogen ion concentration of 10 raised to minus 3 will will be plus 3 and the answer for this question will be a choice 3 okay so hope you understood today's mcq discussion uh, thanks for watching and keep on watching our videos of all this uh, drug inspector mcq series thank you so much